Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta put glitter in it. That's just a no-brainer. <gasps> this is one of those that does a spotted type of effect. Are we there? No, not really. What I'm gonna do is, I've been wanting this, the Color Whirl um, by Sally Hansen, which is, as many of you know, a company that I love. Um, anyway, so, turn that that way so you guys can see it. So, it now only is available at Ulta and comes in a two pack, which kind of bothers me just because you're now forced to buy two that they've decided should go together. Um, and so it ends up being about almost $18 out the door. Um, that, uh, I have issues with that, but as you guys know, I love Sally Hansen. So I'm going to test this because this is one of those that does a spotted type of effect. And so anyway, here goes. And then also I got Dance Legends spotted. It just says white. Yeah, spot it. Um, I got this a couple months ago and haven't been able to try it yet. So I thought this is a great time to do that. And I will admit, I slightly cheated. Uh, I did play with this a little bit. Um, so I kind of know what's going to happen. But I wanted you guys to see it. Because here's another thing that goes with marketing. So when you market a product... You want to represent it to the best of your ability. Um, so this is what they say it's going to look like. At least this is what they propose it's going to look like. It's this beautiful kind of bluish pink shimmery thing. And then black is from the steampunk. Um, and it's supposed to pull away and create this spotted effect. So let's see. Pai kutu Apply two coats of Miracle Gel Color. Allow it to dry fully. Next, apply one thin coat of Miracle Gel Color Whirl. Um, allow your unique liquid look to fully dry before finishing with Miracle Gel Top Coat, which they did not make me buy. Um, so, there's what they look like. Typical colors, um, although it says Color Whirl, and then there's your Miracle Gel. Um, so, in, because I knew this would take time and I didn't really want you to wash polish dry, I did two coats of, um, I actually did use a Miracle Gel in pink. But here's the thing, you guys. That's that. So, I go back to the box. Sorry, I'm shaking. I had too much coffee this morning. Um, that's what it's supposed to look like. So far... No, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> so, all right, here we go. I did these on Friday, so they are definitely fully dry. So the directions are apply a thin coat, all in caps, thin coat. All right, here we go. Is anybody timing for me at five minutes? That might, that stuff might sit longer. Okay, here we go. Meh, kind of, sort of. I'll do it again, maybe thinner. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm wiping as much of the product off as possible. So maybe we get thinner, we'll see. Oh, all right. So obviously thin, thin, thin. Let me move it so you guys can see it. Thin, 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 thin is a better, better option. But, <laughs> are we there? Uh, mm, eh, mm, no, not really. Okay, let's try it on pink. I should have music on in the background. super thin actually like trying to pull the coat pull the black off mm. 
actually, wait, wait, less. Okay, so I don't know what's happening with the brush where it's kind of splitting like that. I don't understand. Interesting. So I'm wondering, is it worth 20, almost $20 for both of them together? I'll let you guys decide, but obviously really, really thin works better. So these are all thin, kind of as thin as I can get, but that brush did something weird and wonky. So, huh. Um, so for those of you who come in late, so what I did, I'm really zoomed in. So I'm testing the Sally Hansen color world. I, as you guys know, I love, I love Sally Hansen. Um, in fact, I was on the phone with Sally Hansen today um, because they are promoting that they come out with their new um, metallic Crayola line. And it's, you know, those those Crayola ones are short term, you think, whatever. They send two of, two of each color to a store like Walgreens and whoever snaps them up, great. And then, then they're gone. Well, I called them because four days ago, here, I'll turn this. Four days ago, they posted on their account that these were available at Walgreens. Not this, sorry. That, where do I have? Like the metallic Crayola line. So it would look like this one of Insta Dry, but it was, they have like six metallic colors. And I was like, I have to have my hands on those. Um, and because this line stamps really well. Uh, and I know a lot of people already have them. So rather than having to invest in stamping polishes to start stamping, you can try with this line and see if you like stamping. That's, that's kind of how I've been talking to people about it. But I was like, oh, metallics. I'm obsessed with metallics and chromes. And so I, had, I was like, I have to have this. Well, I went to three Walgreens yesterday. I talked to the managers. Nobody had ever seen it. They're like, sorry, it didn't come to our store. And one of them, she goes, well, why don't you call Sally Hansen? So I did. And I ended up being on the phone with her for like, so I got one of their customer support people. And she told me, she goes, um, I'm looking in my computer and stuff. And it says that this line was discontinued October 1st. I was like, really? Because I'm looking at your Instagram account way back in October and there is no mention of this product. And four days ago, they've got like five posts promoting this product saying, go to Walgreens to get it. I'm like, um, so anyway, guess what? They're sending a, um, an email. She's sending an email to corporate. We'll see if something comes out of that. I will say though, <laughs> messing with that stuff that polish remover, it started to remove the polish on the tip of my nail. But I'm with you guys uh, using our nail clips for, and this is pure acetone. Um, actually, I like, so these are our nail clips. Um, and I like putting our acetone additive in them, um, which keeps your skin nice and soft in spite of using pure acetone and it doesn't slow down. Actually, I take that back. I will be honest. It slows down nail polish remover by about 10 seconds compared to absolutely pure acetone. So for me and in my world, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't make much difference. Okay, so let me go back to if any of you missed, what I tested was Sally Hansen's Color World. Should look like that. So it's kind of this pretty pearly. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. So upside down, it looks like that, but it's super transparent too. So uh, it's gonna be different on your nail. So this is what it looks like slightly thicker. Let me zoom in. So that's a slightly, it says to do really, really thin. So that was what I would classify as a thin coat but instead what I did, and I was like, I don't like that. So what I did was I wiped practically all of the polish off of it and I got that effect. Okay, that's better. And then I used the same amount to do these two over a different Sally Hansen 
Miracle Gel product. Not this one. A pink one that I put away already. Sorry. Okay. But I have a feeling that it could be really, really good doing... Um, let me zoom out just a little bit doing um, fluid nail art. So a lot of you have probably seen fluid art done. It's all over Instagram. Um, and I'm just gonna, rather than making my mat a big old mess, I am going to use these little pieces of mylar, which are, um, what they are is, let's see, these? These are funny. These, wait, 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 come back. So these I saved from little stamping decals that I got. This is a little plastic that they came in. So I saved those and I'm like, yeah, I can use that. These are, which you can hardly see, are uh, cut from page protectors that go into binders. So I'm just gonna do this on those. Get, can I get rid of that? Yeah, there we go, sorry. It's bothering me because it's gonna sit under there and y'all see it. All right, so what I do wanna do is try some different colors and put the Color Whirl Steampunk mixed with these different colors and see what happens. And like I said, I kinda cheated. I already know what's gonna happen and I know it's gonna be really cool, you guys. So I think this is where the these products can shine. Let me put, let's see. I was gonna put a lavender, but maybe let's go with like sort of a darker, darker pink. And I, I'm not gonna spend time showing you guys all the different polishes. I got too many of them and you guys have your own. You can put your own color combinations together. Um, okay, so. Then we put a little bit of the color whirl in black in there. Let's see what happens. So what you do is you fold it over. You would do, you could do this on your silicone mat. You could do it on the mylar and squish. So there we get some interesting effects. Just zoom in and you can see it. Ha ha. Look at that, you guys. <clears throat> it's awesome. So then what you would do is you would let this dry. And if it's not thick enough, you apply a layer of clear polish. Not quick dry top coat. Just a layer of clear polish. Let that dry for 30 to 60 minutes. And then what you'll be able to do is just take the piece of mylar and you'll be able to just bend it and peel it right off. So there you go. There's test one. And that shimmer of, let's see, this is the one that came with it. So you guys can start. <laughs> Don't we love shimmer and glitter? Okay. So this is the, do, 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 do. It's now I'm just too zoomed in too much. <laughs> oh, look at that. 669, let's get digital. If you can't see that, you need glasses. All right. So I am going to just play, you guys. I'm going to play and try different things. Um, and if you're asking me questions, I'm sorry. I'll try and catch some of them. Um, okay, what do I want to do? Okay, 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 okay. Let me do the same thing. So I'll use the same colors, but this time I'm going to use Dance Legend. So that's the, nope, not on that end. That is the spotted white. And I know Dance Legend came out with like a red and a black. And I just feel like, for me personally, I feel like um, white is more versatile than the other colors. Black can get probably really muddy really fast. So I like how this pink goes with this pink shimmer. It complements it well, you guys, and I didn't even try that on purpose. Okay, so 
let's see how spot it does. What's cool about this, take a look at that. Can you guys see the cells already happening? So when you see fluid art, if you, um, if you hashtag search it on Instagram, so just put in fluid art and you will be blown away. What I like about Spot It, look at that. It's already creating the cells. And this is what's awesome about fluid art. So, look at that. And it grows. You let it sit there and it grows. This is why I like fluid art. It's pretty awesome. And you can, I think you can hashtag search fluid nail art and you'll see it being done. The only bummer is that uh, it looks like, I always thought Dance Legend was from Brazil, but I am seeing, upside down, I am seeing Russian. So, um, but, 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 does What's Up Nails carry it? You guys would know. Anyway, um, hopefully they will continue to create it because look at that. Does that just make you happy? Holy snap. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to use some of these. Honestly, seriously, seriously. Wow, 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 wow. And so here's the difference between kind of the cells that were created with Sally Hansen's Color Whirl Steampunk, which is only available as a set at Ulta here in the United States. You international people, I don't know where you can find it. And then here's what, and f this is like, I actually was holding this, so look how it's starting to, it's starting to flow. And so that's spotted. So far, I think that's our winner, but I can try some other things. I'm, I'm good at giving things the benefit of the doubt. I'm good at... This is what I like to do. I like to test things many, many times. I like to break things. <laughs> I learned that from my husband. He was a software tester. And so he breaks things. That was his job. All right. So I'm going to go with... Now this is a Sally Hansen color foil. And I loved these, but apparently I didn't... I didn't... haven't used them as a manicure just because I have way too much polish now and I... I don't know how long it would take me to use up. I think it was if I if I you did a new manicure every day, it would take me over four years to use them all. Good job, Anna. Sometimes it's like, is it the thrill of collecting or the thrill of using? And actually, I really like um, Marta warmas anyway she was chit chat nails i like her technique of doing a skittleette all right i was going to do another color what was it going to be maybe the blue anyway so she did she created the skittleette manicure which is two colors of, this is I'm zoomed in too much two colors of cream on two nails are cream two nails are decorated and two nails have or and the last your pinky has a like a glitter or a texture all right so here we go with with the um, steampunk So what you can see already, unlike with Spot It, it doesn't it doesn't go into cells. It doesn't it just doesn't work the same way. I find nail polish formula the the people who actually really make nail polish, like Sally Hansen and Revlon and all of these, I find it fascinating of how they create these different formulas that do the different things. So I will admit, this is still pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm intrigued with using black over white. 
So let's do the same thing in with white. All right, so we've got this color foil. And then what did I use, a pink? Yeah, this pink. I hope you guys are finding this interesting because this is what I would normally be doing without videoing it. So it's kind of cool to have you guys come along with me. Okay, and we have this blue. And so this is what happened. Somebody was asking me why I'm not uploading to uh, YouTube. I actually am at the moment, but my computer, uh, it gets mad at me if I'm trying to work on the computer at the same time as it's uploading to YouTube because they're an hour long. Um, so I can't do anything on my computer. And I was like, well, okay, this is when I go, okay, it's time to play. So you can see a little bit, we're starting to get those cells happening. I'm really liking the spot it, you guys. And I'm hoping What's Up Nails has it. I think they do. So you just fold it over. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. And then you can tip it. You can tell I had too much coffee. So yeah, you can tip it and have it be really, really thin. I'm trying to get it to like get past its line. There we go. This is so fun, you guys. This is so cool. Corey's probably laughing at me right now. Be like, what are you doing playing? Let's see if I can move that. Move, please. Move. Yes, there we go. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. This is really, really cool. It's interesting how that purple, for me, it almost looks silver. Um, oh, this is another thing I wanted to show you guys, but hold on. Okay, so here we go with the Sally Hansen's black. So that's the steampunk color whirl. And then this is with Spot It in white. Now granted, I realize we're, we're comparing kind of apples to oranges because I'm not doing black with black, I'm doing black with white. But Sally Hansen only came out with uh, two of the color worlds and one of them is, um, the other one is kind of this creamy white. So it's, it's, not, it's not white. And it's not, but it's it's not solid. It's kind of opaque, and it kind of looked like um, watered down milk. And I was like, that mm, mm, that's not worth twenty bucks for me because I have to buy it in a two pack, like this. So it came as a two pack, and so the white one came with a red. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna spend forty dollars. Especially after I'd spent $50 on this stuff. And as those of you who are with me, it smells fantastic. But it's horrible. It, mm, I hate saying when a product is does not live up to its claims, which is sad. It's really sad. Um, uh, as a lot of you guys know, this is how I have all of my polishes. I use swatch sticks. So this is my... color chrome and it's getting very big but what I do is I paint them on the back side so you can see what the color looks like on the back but then if you flip it over you get the shiny part and you see what it would look like if it was covered with top coat but you don't have to top coat it I learned that from somebody somewhere on Pinterest like five years ago six years ago anyway I wanted to show you guys and I don't know if this will come through for you guys, you can turn on another light. It'll go blind. I don't know if that really helps. Yeah, it does a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. 
This is a purple. It's a really gorgeous dark purple. That's what I was using with the the Spot It and the Color Whirl uh, Steampunk. But what I wanted to show you guys, and I guess on camera it's actually kind of easier. It does sort of match. But in real life, this looks very blue, not nearly as purple. Um, so this is why swatch sticks are important, however you swatch them. This is another thing, when you open it, the, the color wet doesn't match the color dry. So sometimes it's really, really hard to know. And what I really like is then I can take different swatch thingies whatever I'm trying to say. And I can go, would these two, let's just say, would these two look good together? There, you've got a, this is a uh, redder purple, and this is a very cool, so I would say this is a warmer purple, but it's still on the cool side. Um, this is a really warm color, you can see. It's still kind of a pinky purple, but a lot more red in it. Um, and so you can look at these and which one would go together better. And actually these two complement each other um, because actually like this color is a slight, it's, it's a darker value of this color. I know that's hard to understand, but um, you get more of this color by adding white. And so you can see how it kind of lightens it. If I wanted it to be darker or like this, I would add black. That, so when you're mixing colors, that's that's kind of how that happens. That would be my art graphic design stuff. Um, anyway, I thought you guys might find that interesting. Um, okay, so I'm going to do more play. Um, so these were the little wrappers that came for nail decals that I ordered on Black Friday. Um, so which one? Oh, I wanted to do gold with, let's do purple and this color foil purple and mint. And I'm going to do, so I'll do them both with black and the white. So you guys can see, because you know what? I mean, we're investing a bunch of money in this. I've invested a boat ton of money in all of this. And sometimes you go, wow, is it really worth it? Is that really worth the expense? And it's really disappointing. And I know you guys are right there with me. So disappointing when you've spent money on something and it's just a crappy formula, um, whatever. And you're just like, oh, I wish I hadn't. So like when I first started this business, I just like dove into everything and tried to learn it all. I did learn a lot. Okay, so I put this right on top. I want to see cells start to happen. And I pretty much got nothing. So, let's smush it. Now we're talking. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. See, and then all you need to do, so then, okay, so here's how you would do a skittleette. You would take maybe uh, the mint, since that's a cream color, you would put it on your index and your thumb, okay? And then you could do two nails with this pattern on your middle two fingers, okay? And then maybe find some sort of a glittery or even just that shimmer chrome color foil. You could do that. Um, you could do this and then add a little bit of glitter on top of it. All kinds of cool stuff that you could do. Or you could go with black as the first two colors. Um, so play with your colors and also if you go to my Pinterest, which is pinterest.com forward slash bliss kiss, I have a board there called color combinations and I probably got at least 500 pins of different color combinations in there. 
Um, so that can help inspire you of which colors look good together. All right, so there we go. That's that one uh, with black. Let's do white. Oh, I know this one's going to be awesome, you guys. I know it. I just know it. Here's what's great. I get to use these. So hopefully if I get my act together, you guys will see these in future pictures and stuff. Okay. So mint. And um, also another thing that can help you is if you go to like your local craft store, you can even look online, but look up Color Wheel. It's not a company. It is a product and it is used by artists around the globe. Okay, so now I need gold. Um, and what that wheel does is it tells you what is... So if you're looking at the wheel and you look at the top color, um, let's say at 12 o'clock you have red. And then if you look on the opposite side of the wheel, that's called the complementary color. And it would be green. I know that because I'm an artist. All right, look at you spot it. You are not spreading. Isn't this fascinating? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see something happening there. Let's see if I can get in. So, spot it starts to work quickly. I'm liking that. So I'm just folding it in half and squishing. If I wanted to blend these colors together more, you could fold again. A lot of, I've seen a lot of people where they just let it run to get more of the cells. Oh, you guys, it's like a magical lava flow. They're cool. I can hear you cheering. Actually, I can't, but that's so awesome. You can go back the other way. This is how fluid artists work. And they do it on canvas. But I like our nails. Our nails are a better canvas. That makes me super, super happy. Look at that. All right. I can tell you right now that um, investing in Dance Legends Spot It Mm, sorry, it's really big, but the Dance Legends spot it. Uh, totally worth it, man. Totally, totally, totally. All right, so let me zoom out so you can see the difference between spot it, white, and their black would behave just the same, and their red. Um, I just find, I didn't buy red because I was like, ah, that's really limiting. Um, you gotta go with reds or pinks or greens. I guess you could do red and purple together. But anyway, so there's black. You're going to get much bigger cells with the Sally Hansen color wheel, color whirl. Um, and you're going to get a lot more detail with that white by Dance Legend. That, let me zoom in as far as I can. Ooh, that's just, that makes me happy. All right, I'm going to leave that there and let you enjoy that while I try and answer some questions. Um, let's see. Two minutes or you guys are timing me. Um, much prefer crackle polish. Oh, I haven't used crackle in a long time. Yeah, <laughs> Ando says I like the colors before you put the black on. Yeah, Cheshire Cat, I, I agree with you. But I didn't have a timer, so I knew you guys were going to help me. Um, okay, let me zip down to the bottom. See if you guys have... Gold is pretty. Kate, and then stop right away when I switch to Bliss Kiss. Um, okay, I'm reading the things backwards. I was just thinking of something as I was finishing oiling my nails. Why nail, my nails crack and peel and break when using other oils like vitamin E and mango blend, but then not breaking once you start using Bliss Kiss? 
Um, the reason for that is the combination of oils. Um, there's something, I got lucky. I think God was watching over me, the universal whatevers, um, when I created it because I'm allergic to almonds. And all cuticle oils had almond oil in them. So I had to come up with my own. And I just did a ton of research. So, yeah, a ton and ton of research on DIY recipes, commercial recipes, you know, ingredients uh, lists and researching why they all were important and I just kind of picked picked and chose uh, just kind of chose ones that I felt were important and I learned that jojoba um, is almost identical to body oil under the microscope and so then um, I just knew that that was going to penetrate and I learned from Doug Shun that body oil comes up through the nail plate so I was like well if oil can come up through the nail plate, he also said oil, certain oils, not all of them, certain oils can go back in the nail plate the other direction. So I got lucky. I've had a lot of people try other oils and try their own recipes and then they try Bliss Kiss and they're like, yours is different. It's just different. So yeah, Norma says, Get your peacock colors in there. You love them so much. Okay, Norma, I'm going to go, just for you, I'm going to go find them. Um, so let's see. Peacock colors don't have... Um, don't have black. Don't really have white either, but... Um, oh, Corey's giggling at me. Thanks, honey. I love you. Um... Okay, Rio wants to see glitter with the fluid art. I will do that. Um, Jam, is this the same effect if you use a dotting tool and drag it through it? No, let me actually, that is great. Let me just test that for you. Um, I'm gonna use those same colors. So, the purple color foil. I love these colors. I hear though, and I never tried them on my nails, um, that they're really, this was like the first, one of the first chromes to come out. And you're not supposed to wear base coat, which is like a number one rule fail. And you have to wear base coat, sorry. You just have to. Base coat is formulated to bond to the nail plate. Polish is formulated to bond to base coat. Top coat is formulated to bond to a base coat or polish um okay so gold sorry um so that was one and then so of course if you have ridges and no ridge filling base coat it's just going to emphasize your ridges so then they were like buff your nails smooth and i was like oh no that is a big old big fat no-no so wait what is, oh glitter i need a glitter Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A glitter, glitter. Um, okay, hold please. All right, I went and found this color club. Is that a good enough glitter? <laughs> Hopefully it goes with it. Hey, here we go. I hope this encourages you guys to just play. And the really good thing is that if you do it on the Mylar or you do it on our stamping mat, um, it when it dries, which on the mat will take quite a while, um, when it dries, you you battery's getting low. Oh, and I only have a minute and 51 seconds. Oh, Rhea, Rhea, look at that. Oh, that, okay, that's, that just, that just brought it up a level. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, okay, you gotta put glitter in it. That's just a no-brainer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That, okay. 
Rhea, thank you! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now I want to show you. Somebody asked because I've only got like one minute. Where's my marbling tool? What happens when you marble through that? So I really like it this way, you guys. But, all right, here we go. Because it's already, I mean, yeah, you certainly can. Let's go the other way. I think when you're doing a spotted kind of effect, that's good enough. I don't think you need this. But hey, you know what? Do what makes you happy. And I'm almost done. I have 41 seconds. Oh my gosh, this was so fun, you guys. See, I'm going to do more of these. Promise. Promise, promise, promise. Um, I'll take you along for my work day. All right, I will see you guys later. I'll put this in the stories so you can check back. And um, keep to stay tuned for when I'm going to do another one of these spontaneous things. All right, love you guys. Bye. Hey everyone, to share with friends, click below. Subscribe now to stay in the know. Kindly comment here, what will you say? And remember you're awesome and have a blissful day.